Tech Wizard here today, and I will be showing you how to reach your Galaxy S5. Now, I want to take a second and give thanks to Chainfire from the XDA forums on finding and making this route. I also want to make a disclaimer that this will trip your NOx, so you have been warned. This may possibly void your warranty. I am not responsible to anything that happens to your device. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Today I'll be using the Sprint variant of this device, so if you have another variant, like AT&T or Verizon, the process will still be the same, but you will need to download the correct files for your phone. Um, all the files will be in the description below of this video. You will also need to download the driver for your phone as well, which will be down in the description along with the other files. So go ahead and start downloading these files. The two files would be the root files and the driver device. I already have the files downloaded onto my desktop as you can see. Um, I have already installed the driver for my phone so I will not be needing this right now. So let's go ahead and make a new folder anywhere on your desktop. Let's just call it uh, Galaxy S5. And let's go ahead and open it up. Drag it to the side. We'll open up the zip file and drag that to the side as well. So what you want to do is take all of this, drag it and drop it in the Galaxy S5 folder. All right, let's exit out of that and focus on the Galaxy S5 folder. Uh, what you want to do is open up Odin 3.07. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click it and run as administrator. Now that Odin is open, we're going to go ahead and click on this PDA button. And when it pops open, it should pop open the Galaxy S5 folder. If not, just navigate to it. Um, you want to open up the MD5 file. And once that is open, we are going to go to our phones now and place it in download mode. Okay, so we need to go ahead and, er, and turn off the phone. So hold the power button, power off, okay. And we'll wait for this to turn off. All right, so the phone is turned off. Now to get into download mode, what we have to do is hold down the volume key, the down volume key, the home key, and the power button all at the same time. All right, now to continue, you want to go ahead and hit the volume up key. And we are in download mode. So from here, what you want to do is go ahead and connect your phone to the computer via your USB cord. So now that your phone is plugged in, Odin should automatically detect it. Um, you'll see that it's added in the message box down there and that the comm will have some type of number. Mine says five, but yours will can say two, three, four. It really does not matter at all. Now you want to make sure that auto reboot is checked and F reset time is checked. You do not, and I repeat, you do not want repartition checked. This will break your device and it'll just be just really bad. Just do not check it at all, okay? So with auto reboot checked and F reset time checked, let's just go ahead and click on the start button. All right, you can see that Odin is now flashing the recovery and the cache. Just uh, let it do its thing. And now it says reset. Keep the phone plugged in. Your phone should be running various scripts. It's still doing the flashing phase. Um, behind the scripts, you should see the run the red Android guide behind it. This is all perfectly normal. Just keep the phone on. Your phone should reset um, after it gets done flashing again. Um, and then and or Android Odin will um, give you a message that says pass. And that is when you can unplug your phone. And there we go, it says pass. I guess it says pass and stuff done. And as you can see, it took 2 minutes and 10 seconds for it to go. So um, let's go ahead and make sure that our phone is actually really rooted. Alright, so I have a program called Root Checker that you can download from the Play Store. And it will verify if your phone is actually rooted. 
Go ahead and select Agree, and you hit OK. And Verify Roots. Go ahead and grant it for Super User. And there you are. This device has root access. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment area. Um, congratulations, you have rooted your Galaxy S5. I hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching.